Hi everyone, today we are going to learn how to paint this rustic light brown background. You can paint whatever you want on it. I painted this fuchsia plant, which I've got a tutorial for this, it's part of our flowers series. I'll put a, a link for it in the description below. I'm using oil paint for, for this painting. You can use acrylic and just substitute paint thinner for water if you want, but I've got white, yellow, yellow ochre and raw sienna as my colors. I've also got a paintbrush and a sponge and paint thinner. Oh yeah, and you're gonna need some purple. Begin by laying down a thin layer of paint thinner across the entire canvas. Then you're going to grab white on the end of your brush and fan it out from the middle. You don't go quite to the edges, but you fan it out. Then you're going to take yellow and you're going to fan it out from around the white, leaving a little bit of white in the middle. It's kind of like a sun you would paint when you're little. Then take some yellow ochre and go around the yellow edges and fan it out to the border. Then you're going to get some raw sienna and fan it out from there. I'm going darker in the corners there, as you can see. I'm just pushing those colors all into each other. Now I'm going to grab my sponge and I'm going to press and twist the colors into each other starting in the middle and working my way outward. Just twisting and pushing the colors into each other until I can't see any more definitive lines going from one color to the next. So just blend, blend, blend until you get that. Then just grab some purple on the end of your sponge. This will look a little weird at first, but just work with me. <laughs> Get some purple and work it along the corner and the edges. And you're going to work it right into that color that you already laid down. The same way, twisting and blotting and pushing those colors into each other with the sponge. Now I'm going to pull some more raw sienna onto my sponge and I'm going to use it to blend the purple and the colors that I've already laid down before the purple into each other. You can see I'm using swirling, twisting, blotting, this same thing we just did. Make sure you're not bringing it too far into the center because you don't want to cover up the brightness that's coming from the middle. Unless, of course, you do. <laughs> This is your painting after all. All right guys, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give me a thumbs up if you like this tutorial and want more like it. Also, I'd love to see your projects if you want to join me on my Facebook page at Her Art from the Attic. And I've got an Instagram account you can follow me on and you can also adopt a painting from me if you'd like on herartfromtheattic.com anyway hope you have a good day don't forget to check out the fuchsia video how to paint fuchsias okay bye